Welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to be revisiting Bolt.new. In a previous video, if we go over here to this tab, I created a video on how to install and run Bolt.new on your own computer. We got a response or a comment from a user, Network Bolt. And he says, the one problem I can see with this is there is no easy way to get the project out that you created or deploy it. Any tips there? The terminal does not have Git installed, so you can't push your files to a Git hub, then download them locally. So yeah, you can create cool sites and apps, but you can't use them. So he's absolutely correct. In the Bolt terminal that it creates, uh, you cannot, it's very limited and you can't add to it. You can't use Git, you can't install anything. It's extremely uh, minimalistic uh, um, terminal. And so it puts these files into a virtual environment and you can't export them, you can't get them out. Uh, you could copy and paste individually every single one, but that would be an absolute pain. So one thing about bolt.new, um, uh, the repo, is in GitHub, you can fork uh, a, a repo and then you can add code to it and make changes to it. So. I went ahead and I've created a fork of the bolt.new and I've added a button that will let you export all your files into a zip folder and then you can unzip that folder and then you can take that and use, use however you want to deploy it, your FileZilla or Terminal or how, whatever uh, SSH or however you want to deploy those, um, those files onto your server. So I'm going to show you this right here and we're going to go ahead and see how this works. So the first thing that we do need to do is uh, copy the uh, the URL here, the HTTPS. So, um, and this is a public uh, template so you can download this yourself. One thing I will show you is I created this files updated cre um, uh, text file and I just list all the files that I changed changed and the files that I created and each one of these files also has um, so if we go into let's say library web container each file that I changed I left the original and just um, put a dash old here so you can compare and see the differences in these files so let's go ahead and go to our terminal and let's type in git clone and then we'll paste in our URL and we'll let that clone. So now our, if we do list, we can see bolt.new is there. So let's open this up with Visual Studio Code. So I'm gonna type in code and then bolt.new. We'll open this up. Okay, and it works the same. So if you watched the previous video, you know that we have to go uh, NP, oops, PNPM and then install to get our packages installed. And then while that's doing that, we're going to create a new folder here, a new file here, and we're going to call it .env.local. And then what's going to go in here is your Anthropic key. So if we go back to uh, the bolt.new contributing and we go down to here, we see this Anthropic key. So we're going to copy this. We'll go back here. We'll paste this in here. And of course, we're going to replace this, the X's, with your actual Anthropic key. So you can go to Anthropic.com and uh, create that, get that set up. So it's finished downloading. I'm going to pause the video, add my Anthropic key, and then I'll be right back. Okay, and we are back. I've uh, went ahead and, of course, added my Anthropic key to the uh, env.local file. And now we're going to go ahead. We've uh, the last um, uh, command we entered was pn 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 pm install, and that <clears throat> and now let's let's look at the uh, the package. Um, and here are the scripts that you can use this uh, pn pm uh, here. And we're going to use preview to run the build and start. So, and we'll just go ahead and just paste that there. Okay. 
and it is building. And if we look at this package.json file, there's only one uh, package that I added, and it's just this JS zip um, package. And so that's what uh, does the zipping of the files. <laughs> so, and now that it's running, we're going to copy this URL. We'll go back to our um, browser and we'll paste that in there. And here we are. Let's go ahead and just click this build a to-do app in React using Tailwind. So it's thinking, it's getting everything ready. And you can already see over here to the left, we have this uh, download button or export button. Um, so you can be able to export your project files. All right, this may take a few minutes or a couple. Well, no, there it is. <laughs> So we'll go ahead and I was going to pause the video, but we'll just let it finish out. It's what it's doing here. All right, that looks great. Okay, so we have the code and here are all the files. And um, it's it's already ran all the commands. So it's done here. So let's go over to our, our export. We're going to click that and we can see files exported successfully. We'll just save it in our downloads folder here. And then we're going to go ahead and open this up. We are going to unzip our file. And we're going to open this up in, uh, we'll say, Visual Studio Code. And I'm just going to expand this out. And on this, we're going to use different commands. We're just going to go npm install to install our pack, all of our packages here, because we exported it out. And then we're going to go npm run dev to uh, launch this. Okay, and so now we have this right here. We're going to copy that URL, we'll go back to our uh, browser, paste that in there, and voila, here we have our to-do app. We'll just go to-do one, enter, and we've got that. It checks it off, it deletes it. So now you have access to your files. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, if you need any more instructions on uh, how to get this deployed to an app, if you'd like to see a video on how to do that or some options, uh, just let me know in the comments and I'll be glad to go further into that. And hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next.